All right, let's take a look at momentum. The symbol for momentum, lowercase p, we sometimes call it inertia and motion because it depends on two things. It depends on the inertia of the object, which is related to its mass, and its motion, which is its velocity. The units are kilogram times meters per second. Looking at this relationship, we can see that momentum is directly proportional to mass and also directly proportional to velocity. So what happens when mass doubles? How will the momentum change? The momentum will also double. What happens if velocity tripled? The momentum will triple. We didn't study this concept of impulse. You can um, you can move on. And impulse momentum theorem, we also didn't study that. And conservation of momentum, we did study this when we looked at two objects pushing off of each other. This law says the total momentum of a system does not change during a collision or explosion. So when we had um, our two classmates pushing off each other on the skateboards, that's sort of an explosion, so to speak, um, where they're pushing off of each other. And the big idea with that is they have equal momentum. So the momentum of object one going to the left equals the momentum of object two going to the right. And momentum is calculated as mass times velocity. So the mass of object one times the velocity of object one will equal the mass of object two times the velocity of object two. If we're going to solve for one of these unknown variables, we have to have information about the other three. And there's an example of this in your, in your um, final exam review packet. So try that example and check your answer on it. The momentum of a system is not conserved when there is an external force. The example of the two students pushing off each other, they're experiencing an internal force. It's a force between the two of them. But if you have some force from the outside, like friction acting on one of the skateboards but not the other, or um, gravity, um, if they're on a hill, then that would not result in momentum being conserved. Can momentum cancel? Yes. It is a vector. And you can have momentum to the right canceling with the momentum to the left. Um, okay. Let's um, stop there, and if you have questions in class, please ask. All right, scholars, have a great evening.